Hello folks, congratulations and welcome to the class of 2024 and 25. My name is Mark Erlenwein, I'm the principal of Staten Island Tech as well as an alumnus of the class of 1992 and a proud one at that. I am so excited to be coming to you from a galaxy not that far away and welcome our students, parents, caretakers and guardians to the class of 2024-25 virtual open house. We're so excited to have you here tonight joining us for the first part of our evening presentation. This is the principal's presentation and we are coming to you not live but broadcasting from Staten Island Tech's own high definition TV studio which you're going to learn a little bit more about later on. Um, following immediately after this session you're going to have the opportunity from 6 p.m. to 8.30 to go into 11 virtual classrooms. Now of course uh, if you're using your cell phone, you'll turn it into camera mode and hold it up to the screen by the QR codes. That's going to bring you directly to a link that goes to this web page here. So you can see all the festivities, all of the Zoom links that we're going to be using tonight to get you in and out of the 11 virtual rooms will be posted here. Um, if they're not posted already, they will be posted soon. So you can follow the schedule that we have pre-selected for you. And just so you know at this point, this web page is going to serve as your landing page for tonight and the most of the rest of the, coming, the summer that's upcoming. Uh, you're going to find information on our Summer Discovery Program, our Bridge Program, as well as all of the presentations and in-class presentations that you see tonight will be posted here after this event so you can come back at a later time and view them for yourselves. So let's get started with our presentation tonight and talk about how we're going to stay in touch. Uh, about a month ago, you received an email from Mrs. Kirschbaum, our Assistant Principal of Guidance, in addition to Dr. Davis, asking you to please take the time to complete our accepted student survey. This survey is vital and important in you sharing with us the contact information that, that we're going to use to stay in touch and communicate with you. Once again, you can use your telephone this evening. All throughout the presentation, there are QR codes set up so you can hold it in camera mode and that'll bring you right to each of these particular surveys, pages, and links. Uh, it's really important you complete this survey in a timely fashion because the more we know about you, your contact information, some of the classes that you've taken, the um, programs, after school activities, and sports that you're interested in, this survey is going to ask you all about those different things so we can start getting ready to personalize your experience here at Staten Island Tech. In addition to that, we need to know your contact information, your email address. So when we're using programs such as Naviance, Operu, IO Classroom, or the Google Classroom Suite, um, you have the proper information and instructions that you need to take advantage of these systems and platforms early on in your high school career starting this summer. Talking about starting the summer, for, for our incoming freshmen, uh, we have a summer bridge program with the total and sole goal of orienting you and making your first day at school in September more like your sixth day. So over the summer, uh, we had already sent this out to you. You have the option of picking from one of four weeks. The first week of July 6th is already booked. So we have three more weeks for you to choose from. You'll be attending school Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday on each of those weeks. And this is where you're going to get a chance to meet the faces and get to know the places of Staten Island Tech. You're going to meet some of your first friends if you don't have any that you're already attending here with. You're going to get to learn a little bit of Russian. You, you might even meet our comfort dog, Sheldon. You're going to get tours of the building. You're going to get to know our school intimately before you ever step that first day in school in September. So it's really important if, it's, if you're able to and it's possible for you to attend this summer, sign up for this program and take advantage of getting that extra special head start as we welcome you into the Staten Island Technical High School community. For our students who are notified that they were accepted into the Summer Discovery Program, uh, we have a different program for you. That program is a fully remote only program. The Summer Bridge Program is an in-person program. So our Summer Bridge pr uh, Program students will be coming to Staten Island Tech for three days during the week in person. Our summer discovery program are our students who still have a little bit more of a journey. You're almost at the finish line, but after 18 successful days of completion of our summer discovery program, there's a seat waiting for you here at Staten Island Tech. 
So if, to my knowledge, you've been notified already, some of you, that you are, are in our Summer Discovery Program. And uh, if you're watching this live right now, Wednesday, June 9th, the deadline to let your guidance counselor know that you are accepting this opportunity to attend the Summer Discovery Program is tomorrow, June 10th. So make sure you stay on top of that and stay in touch with your guidance counselor or teachers at your current middle school and make sure you don't miss out on this really important and vital opportunity. And for those of you who are 10th graders who are taking part in this summer discovery program, you'll be getting in touch with your high school guidance counselors or teachers to let them know that you're interested in taking part in this program. But don't hesitate and haste and wait because June 10th, the deadline is tomorrow if you're watching this today, Wednesday, June 9th. So moving along uh, to help you make this informed decision, for some of you that might still be on the fence trying to decide whether or not Staten Island Tech will be your home this September, we have an interactive flipping book, which once again, using the QR code on the lower part of the screen, will bring you directly to our flipping book. And our flipping book is interactive. You'll notice in certain parts of the flipping book, there's these little play symbols. If you hover over them and click on them, it's interactive. So we have several videos and interactive experiences embedded in the flipping book to help give you a better perspective of what it's going to be like to be a student here at Staten Island Tech. Now while we're talking about being a student here at Staten Island Tech, we can't wait to start your journey and your experience this evening. But in the meantime, you do need to let the Department of Education in New York City know you intend to um, come here this September and attend and be a part of our school community. So the deadline for that to happen is June 25th. Now this is for our non-discovery students. June 25th is the absolute deadline that you have to log on to the My Schools portal and let the Department of Education know that you intend to attend Staten Island Tech come this September. Now we realize that many of our students are in a very fortunate position where not only have they made Staten Island Tech, but they've also received a full four-year scholarship to many other private schools. So if you are in that position, what do you do? Well, first and foremost, I want you to keep in mind that in, t in this particular case, you need to talk to us because the reality of the situation is, in terms of having an offer to Staten Island Tech and the private schools, is there are two completely different systems. Uh, the New York City Department of Education does not work with the, uh, the archdiocese or private institutions on negotiating and navigating the due dates and who's going to which school. So the actual reality is that they're two completely different programs. So in this particular case, you have the option of actually accepting both. Now what I mean by that is if you need additional time to make that decision, uh, my recommendation to you, if you're accepted to both the private school and Staten Island Tech, accept both offers and it's time for us to talk. Let's talk about it. And what we're talking about is this. Um, you can accept both of those seats. Uh, if, you if you decline a Staten Island Technical High School seat, there is no waiting list. So once you decline it, it's gone. It doesn't go to another student. Um, the Department of Education accepts an abundance of students over the limit, knowing there will be 10% that may or may not say no to that seat. Um, but this is a time where you need to reach out to us and talk more about what you need to know to make that final decision. Maybe you need to attend the Summer Bridge program and learn a little bit more about what it's actually going to be like uh, while you also have this offer to another school with a four-year scholarship and you still haven't made your decision yet. Let us help you make that decision by giving us the opportunity to answer some of your questions and make sure you're making a well-informed decision. So in addition to that, uh, our efforts tonight and this summer, the whole intent is to provide a level of comfort and familiarity to our students long before they spend their first day of school. So if you are joining us tonight and you continue to take part in our summer bridge program or summer discovery program, uh, in August we're going to have parent connection uh, sessions with our parent coordinator and myself. That way, on your first day of school, it is more like your sixth day of school. Uh, our hope and goal is that all the jitters and the uncomfortedness and the, the nervousness about becoming a new high school student dissipates and doesn't exist because you've been coming to high school already and you've had an opportunity to get to know us a little bit. 
So in addition to that, moving forward tonight, you're going to have the opportunity to meet students, faculty, staff, parents, and guardians of our school community uh, to find where you find yourself and see yourself in this Staten Island Technical High School community. Who are you? Are you the philanthropist? Are you the artist, the maker? Are you the scholar athlete? Are you interested in taking as many AP exams as you possibly can? Are you a journalist, a writer? We have programs for all the various areas in which your interests lie. And if you see something that's not here, that we don't currently have, it's as simply as asking us and looking into how we can help create it and make that a reality for your experience here. We are going to have representatives from all of the different departments in the virtual classrooms tonight to answer your questions and present short, brief presentations on what we have to offer in each of these disciplines. But one thing I want to make sure is clear. Um, based upon the reputation of our school and everything that you've heard, uh, you're going to learn and what I hope you walk away with tonight knowing, feeling, and seeing, and hearing is that this is not just a school that's all about academics. The whole child, the whole self, the whole person matters here. Uh, we understand that you have climbed many mountains to get to this point. And at each of the apexes of those mountains and those plateaus along the mountainside, uh, being number one, being number two, the valedictorian, the salutatorian, has mattered to a lot of you. We have made sure in this next ascent, the next plateau at the top of this mountain, in your four years here at Staten Island Tech, has room for each and every one of our seniors by the time that they graduate. Uh, you represent the top five to seven percent of students in the country. Uh, without that even being said, you know, we have made sure that there is an opportunity for each of you to be an individual and have that moment at the top and be your own individual self. It's no longer about being number one or number two anymore. This is about being who you want to see yourself becoming in the next four years. So I hope you stay in touch with us after tonight and uh, tune in to all of our social media channels. I myself and we as a school community are very active in Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Our handles are up, up here on the screen. Uh, please find us on these channels, tune in, and scroll down. Look, take a look at what we've been posting over the past couple of weeks, months, and years, and you'll quickly get a sense of how we handle the whole COVID crisis. But what were we doing before the whole COVID crisis, and what was it like to be a student here? I challenge you to do so, and I, I promise you that you're going to get a good taste of what that experience is like. So with that being said, folks, that brings us to the closing of this part, part of the presentation. I'm so excited for you to see the rest of our school and the virtual presentation, but I'm looking at my watch, and uh, Mr. Van Buren, uh, do we have more time? We do. We do? Yay, we have more time. So you know what? We're going to start the tour right now. I'm going to put down my clicker, and I'm going to take you on a very special private tour. You get a, pre a preliminary preview of what you're going to experience tonight. So right now, as I said earlier, we are in Staten Island Tech's high-definition TV studio. Every ninth grader at Staten Island Tech will take this class for one half of the school year, and you're going to get the opportunity to run every piece of equipment in this television studio, the cameras, the lights, the sound. Uh, gentlemen, cameramen, please introduce yourselves. Hey, how are you? I'm Paul, and I'm a Steadicam operator for today. Hey, I'm David, and I'm helping the Steadicam. Uh, we're going to be taking you on the store today. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, David. So um, that's going to be you one day behind the camera, making these memories and sharing this vision. So why don't we take a quick look around the studio and I'll take you to the control room and meet some more of our friends. By the way, this is Mr. Van Buren. He's going to be your technology teacher in a, a short few years, actually a few, a short few months. Yep. I hope <laughs> we'll see you in September. Hi, my name is Laura. I'm a junior at Tech and I went to IS24. Thank you so much, Laura. Thank you, Mr. Van Buren. Let's peek in and see some of our friends here in the control room. But like I said before, every student here in the ninth grade is going to learn how to tell stories by learning how to use all this equipment and do so. So let's join our friends and see what they're up to right now. Hi, I'm Christina. I'm a junior, and I went to Our Lady Help of Christian School before tech. Hi, my name is Eitan Halevi, and I went to I-72 before tech. And uh, we're just doing some studio crew stuff to help out with TV production. So, Eitan, what are you exactly working on right now? 
This is the audio board, and we're controlling all the microphones involved in this production, in all productions. And Christina, what are you working on? I'm the technical director, so I use the switcher to change which camera is in view. So all those amazing shots we just filmed, you're in control of all that. Yep. Fantastic. So this is going to be you in a short few months. Thank you so much, guys. Let's take a walk and meet some more people in the halls and walls of Tat Staten Island Technical High School. As you know, as students here, you're going to have four years full of fun and adventure and really get the opportunity to personalize your day-to-day -day experiences here. And I can't think of anyone better to talk about this than our students. Uh, look who's here. Connor Campbell. Connor, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Mr. Ellen? Very good, very good. We're joined tonight by our incoming ninth and 10th graders. I wonder if you could spend some time telling us about your experience here at Staten Island Tech as a student. And we'll do the switcheroo. I'm gonna put on my mask so you can take off yours. Okay. And tell us a little bit about your story. So, um, originally I wasn't going to go to Staten Island Tech. I was actually gonna to go to another school on Staten Island. Um, and I was very, very invested in that school, but I decided to give Staten Island Tech a chance. I came to the open house, the one that you're going to right now, virtually, and I was absolutely amazed at the perfect balance of fun and, and learning that you can have at the school. So I decided to give it another try, and then I shadowed, and again, perfect balance of learning and fun. And then when I came to the school, I fell in love with it, not just because of the learning and the fun, but the dedication that the teachers have to making each class as fun as possible while making it as informative as possible. Um, and I also think that they do a really good job at challenging the students without breaking them. They really push them as far as they can go and then nurture them to make sure that they can succeed. So I, I really loved everything about the school from the academic standpoint and everything I expected coming into the school, I was blown away by. Well, Connor, I thank you for spending some time for us right now to share with us a little bit of your story. And I, I'm sure we'll see a little bit more of you later on this evening. Yeah, right. hope so. Thank you, Connor. Thank you. See you later tonight. Bye-bye. So you heard it first and foremost, right from our very students. The time you spend here, the choices you're going to make, the voice that you're going to have in that experience is very palpable and real. Um, fun, the time, the experiences will be as much as you want it to be. And you know, come to think of it, you know, one of the things that we often hear in terms of questions about the experience here at Tech what about the Russian language, the foreign language Russian? That is the only language that we offer here at Staten Island Tech. As you can see here, this is one of our Matryoshka dolls. That, well, look at this. So this is one of our Matryoshka dolls. A Matryoshka doll is a nested Russian doll. And it looks like Connor is going to join us once again. Connor, come out here, Connor. First and foremost, Connor, I want to ask you, the Russian language, how tough has it been for you? Oh, the Russian language after the first few months? Very simple. You mind if I take it off? Absolutely. We'll switch. Uh, so as I was saying, the Russian language is actually a lot more simple than you would think. I know it looks very, uh, looks very intimidating when you first see the alphabet, but honestly, it's super phonetic, which means that the way that you're going to read it is the way that you're going to speak it. So after the first two months, once you memorize the alphabet, it's just like learning English. I, I really do believe that Russian is one of the best languages to learn because of how easy, but also how dynamic it could be. So I'm so glad, honestly that I'm taking Russian and I'm going to be taking it when I go off to college because I think that it's a great language to learn and it's also one that's not too confusing. So you mean to tell me that all the time after school is not being spent studying for the Russian language and you have time for after school activities like sing? I notice you're wearing the sing shirt. Can you tell us a little bit about these after school activities that you've taken part in? Yeah, of course. So um, just for the school, I am in two councils. I do the sing show each year. I'm vice president of the Glee Club, and I also do the spring musical, which is five activities just under the name Staten Island Technical High School, which I believe is great. And honestly, it's not that hard. It's not as hard as you think. I think the school does a great job balancing academics and balancing uh, activities to the point that most teachers are able to communicate with each other to make sure that every student is accommodated when it comes to that stuff. You can do as much as humanly possible. I know students who went up to doing 10 activities in the past and they felt perfectly fine. They didn't feel stressed at all. And honestly, this building is open enough to which if you have activities that you wanna be uh, at and you have some time, the school's more than, uh, more than happy to offer you space to do your work here so that by the time you get to your activity, you don't have to stress about doing more work when you're at home. 
Well, Connor, I wanna thank you once again for sharing your experience. Uh, like I said, we're gonna see you a little bit later on tonight, right? Uh, I think so, yeah. Right, Connor will be in one of the 11 virtual classrooms that all of you will have the opportunity starting at 6 p.m. to peruse and tour the building. So Connor, thanks again, buddy. I'll thank see you. you a little bit later. So as you heard from Connor himself, we have spent and obsessed over the time uh, in terms of working on the student experience and making sure that it's not just about academics, that there is time for those activities and sports um, and clubs and really making your time here at Staten Island Tech your own. Uh, to say it's just about academics is missing the whole point of what this place is really about. So right now we are in the main entrance of the building and one of the people you're going to meet first before you meet our lovely school security agents Agent Ritter, say hello to everybody. Hello. So in addition to meeting Agent Ritter and some of our other security agents, uh, this is the first office that most of our parents and visitors will stop in. And it's the office of our parent coordinator, Mrs. Barbara Malenfant. Why don't you come on in? Hello, Barbara. Hel hello, Connor. <laughs> Once <Yeah>. again, <laughs> Connor Campbell. Please introduce yourself. Yeah, hi, I'm Barbara Mellenfront, the parent coordinator, and welcome and congratulations to the families, the students, the parents, grandparents, all of you who will be entering the building in September. Really, really happy about uh, greeting and welcoming you in, in the fall. Um, I like to tell people that I'm about all things tech, so if there's ever anything you need to know about anything related to Staten Island Tech, um, please contact me. Emailing is the best way to get in touch with me. I will get back to you and um, certainly be able to answer the questions that you may have. So again, welcome. I'm so happy. I can't wait to see you in person. I think we've met Connor already, but Connor seems to have changed his attire. What's going on, Connor? Uh, yeah, so uh, we have a baseball game tonight, so I just wanted to get my jersey on a little bit early. Um, would you like to know about baseball and sports? Well, I think what a lot of folks don't realize about our school is we're not just a school for athletics. Uh, well, we're not just a school for academics, excuse me, but we're just as much of a school that's about athletics. We have over 43 public school athletic league um, programs and teams of boys and girls, and Connor happens to be on the boys baseball team. And the boys soccer and the boys basketball team. So if you are worried about having to play multiple sports, I promise you, it's not as hard as you think. I'm in three major sports that are going five days a week, every week. I never stop, and I'm so happy that I'm a part of it. Um, the sports program, I believe, is the best way for all students to socialize, because um, especially if you're doing a fall sport. As a freshman, I was doing soccer, so that meant in August, I was already meeting people who were in the school. By the time school rolled around in early September, I had already made 15 friends in all three classes, and they kind of showed me the ropes the first week until I was able to be on my feet and be able to be independent in the school. I thought that sports was the best way to do it. And now after four years, I've met seven, seven different grade levels of students, and throughout the entirety of it, I have made incredible, incredible friends. And you create this bond that happens in the school. So like any project that happens, you have your teammates and you already know how, we, how you guys work. And um, it's also just a great stress reliever. A lot of them started around four o'clock, maybe even five o'clock at night. So you get your work done early, and if you still have some work left over, you have a test that you need to study for, and it's running through your mind. Once you start sports, all of that stress goes away. You kind of sweat it all out, and it feels incredible. So even, then, even in this year, sports is finally back after being shut down for the last three seasons, and I've never seen a more energetic group of people than the field right now when everybody's kind of getting back into sports. It's kind of the, the tie-in for, for most students. They finally feel like students. They feel excited again. So uh, if you do play sports, play them at Tech. And if you don't, try them out. Because I can guarantee you there's at least one sport that will pick you up and you fall in love with right away. You've heard it right from our students themselves, folks. Um, there's time for the academics. There's time for after school clubs and activities. There's time for sports. And as you can tell, we're making the time for our students when they need to meet with us and chat with us and need assistance and help. Um, this is going to be your home away from home for the next four years. So, Connor, thank you. Mrs. Malafont, always an absolute pleasure. And Connor, we'll see Connor a little bit later tonight in one of the virtual classrooms, right? Yep. Thanks, buddy. 
Let's take a walk and meet some more of the faces and places of Staten Island Tech. So as you heard it right then and there, um, time management and making the most of the day, uh, it's all in your power. It's all in your ability and chance to really engage with as many or as little folks as you want to. And oh, well, here's another folk right now. Hello, Bra Bradley, how you doing? Hello, I'm all right, how are you? Bradley, why don't you introduce yourself to our guests and uh, tell us a little about a bit your experience here at Staten Island Tech thus far. All right, well, hello, my name is Bradley Vol. I am a junior here at Staten Island Tech and I went to IS27. And well, honestly, uh, when I was in eighth grade, I wasn't really the most excited about coming here. I'll admit that I was a little scared and worried for my social life and uh, whether I'd be able to handle the academic rigor of this school because a lot of my friends uh, didn't really score high enough on the test to get here. And, you know, the school is kind of far from my house and I was just worried about, you know, whether I'd be able to make friends and whatnot. And also, uh, it being a small school, uh, I tend to be acclimated more towards larger schools because I don't really like to stand out in the school. But uh, while these all seem like negative things, they're actually not. Uh, I realized that it being a small school allowed for a closer connection between peers and teachers than I could ever ask for in any school that I could have ever went to. The teachers here are just so nurturing and they really care for your goals and your aspirations. Uh, and with me personally, I know that I would not have shot as high as I do now if I did not go to this school and I did not have the teachers and my friends rooting for me and what I want to do and you know, supporting my dreams and my aspirations. And while I'll admit that you know, there is a lot of work and freshman year it was really tough getting acclimated to a school that has a lot more workload than my middle school did. But after a while of just sort of being in this environment and you know, feeling the support and the comfort and the genuine care from the staff and everyone else, you sort of become used to the amount of work and you're able to handle it and you know, they're making you grow as a person. And so as a whole, it, it just blends into one experience that I don't think I will ever take for granted. I think that this is genuinely one of the best schools that I could have ever asked for. Bradley, it couldn't have been said any better. I want to thank you for spending some time with us this afternoon. Well, and uh, hopefully we'll see you a little bit later tonight in some of the virtual classrooms. Okay. Thank you, Bradley. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. I will. So as we're walking down this hallway right now, uh, this is the first floor, and you'll notice above me all of the, the little flags and <clears throat> the representations of all the different places that our students go to college here at Staten Island Tech. And speaking of students, once again, here's Raina Lau. Raina is our senior executive, senior class president of Staten Island Tech. Raina, why don't you spend the, just a few moments talking to our incoming ninth and 10th graders about your experience here at Staten Island Tech? Of course. So hi, I'm Raina. I'm a current senior and I came here from I-75. Um, a big part of my life at Tech is really being in the student organization here. As Mr. Allenwine said, I'm currently the executive president. I've been involved in the student organization since my second day of freshman year actually. And I think being a part of SO really just helps me feel like I have a role at Tech, especially when whether it's like talking with administration about issues or gathering student opinions about our events and like what we should change to make our life better here. And I think it also opened lots of doors for me. I met lots of my friends, like long life friends at, in the SO office and made connections with lots of other teachers that I normally wouldn't be able to. Whether it's like being in the SO office just to plan events or we're, be, we're in there having fun and playing card games. It's like a really open and welcoming community and it really made my life here at Tech awesome. Right, and well thank you so much for spending a few moments with us and sharing your experiences. Uh, will everyone get a chance to see you a little bit more tonight and ask more questions? Yes. So Raina will be in one of our virtual classrooms tonight answering more questions that I know you have. Thank you so much, Raina. Have a good day. Great to see you. Bye-bye. So like I said, uh, as you keep on hearing from each student's story, uh, each of them have taken a unique path here and taken advantage of the opportunities for the myriad of the different types of programs, aspirations, disciplines, subject areas that interest them. And I know many of you come here to Staten Island Tech because STEM and science, engineering, is something that interests you. And here's one more student just to talk a little bit more 
about that specific experience. Hey Tara, how are you doing? Hi. Good. Meet our incoming ninth and 10th graders. Why don't you introduce yourself and explain a little bit about your experience here at Tech. Sure. Hello, my name is Tara Lago. I'm in 10th grade. And my middle school was St. Joseph Hill Academy. So I've only really been here in person for one and a half years, but that experience has been so worthwhile. Focusing on sophomore year, even though it's been hectic with the remote and blended schedules, tech has made the transitions very smooth and the instructions crystal clear. In remote, I'm still able to feel the community at tech through SERP, which stands for Science Engineering Research Program. I was not only able to become a better researcher and start changing my community, but I formed some of my closest friendships there. In Blended, I really feel this community in band where I can play instruments with my peers and harmonize with them. Tara, thank you so much for spending a few moments with us and sharing your story here at Staten Island Tech. Of course. Really great to see you. You too. Enjoy the rest of your day. You as well. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, oh my goodness. Well, I'm looking at the time right now and according to the time, uh, I have to get home because in a few minutes, uh, I have to be ready and to go to my virtual classroom. Let me take this off. So in a few minutes, we're going to be beginning the second half of the evening. And I have a really cool thing to show you that I think you're going to really love. Tonight, in the technology room, you're going to get to meet members of the Staten Island Solar Car team. So I'm actually going to drive this vehicle home before it gets dark out. Otherwise, I'm not driving anywhere. Come here, let me show you. So as you can see, right behind me, this is the solar car for the Staten Island solar car team. And I have a few gentlemen here who would like to introduce themselves to you. Say hello, folks. Good morning, good afternoon, I should say. Welcome to our solar car. We are fourth place in the United States and looking to get number one. My name is uh, Charlie Dazzo. I'm the project manager for the team. I also am called Mr. Dazzo when I'm in the makerspace. So it's a pleasure to, to be here and show you what we have to offer. And these gentlemen, please introduce yourselves. Uh, hi, I'm Larry Zhang. I'm the captain of the team. Uh, I'm a junior and I came from IS-75. I'm Jeffrey Lin. I am also a junior and I came from I-72. Uh, my name is Jake Lee and I'm a junior and I came from uh, Mark Twain. Uh, my name is Justin Deng. Uh, I'm also a junior and I came from Krista McCulloch. Well, thank you, gentlemen. And all these gentlemen and Mr. Dazzo will be in the technology virtual classroom later this evening to talk to you more about the Staten Island Solar Car and Green Team Club, as well as answer any questions that you might have. And like I said, I have to get home, so they're gonna help me get into the solar car so I can speed off and be ready for your questions tonight. I'll see you shortly in my own virtual classroom, meet the principal, and get to know you better, and you can answer any of your questions. Okay, folks, I'll see you in a little bit. Thank you. Bye.